Monday Floss Tube. Hello, crafty friends. Oh, it's Monday for me. It's Tuesday for you. <laughs> Happy Tuesday, Floss Tube. It doesn't change. It doesn't change that we're here. We're, we're here for day five. Day five, Flossmas, Vlogmas, Holiday Countdown Goodness. And today is a good one. I know what color is in day five of, for today, and I can't wait to share it with you. It's one of my favorites. So let's turn the camera around and open up the package and see what goodies we have in store for today. As you can see for day five, we have the most beautiful, beautiful dark blue. Check it out. Isn't that gorgeous? So this is yonder and it is just the most stunning dark blue. It's going to look beautiful. In our stitching today, um, there's a lot of counting in today's stitching. <laughs> Be brave. <laughs> count three times and then as you're putting those first few stitches in, count it again. Um, and if you feel more comfortable waiting a little bit until a little bit more of the other design becomes um, apparent, that is totally your decision. So, yonder, dark, dark, beautiful blue is our color of the day. And it's also joke day, Christmas cracker day. So as Jacob says, it's not only the season for tales, but also for Christmas crackers and the inevitably awful jokes in them. So today I will gift you a bad joke as well. And his joke is, what happened to the snowman who got angry? He had a meltdown. So I have a feeling that uh, there's a few people in the Evertote workshop around, around me today who appreciate a good joke. So we'll see if we can drum up one or two before the end of the day today. I have left my project at home. Uh, it's Monday for me uh, and Monday morning is always a super early start. My son has a symphony rehearsal. Now um, he's in both the junior band and the symphony and uh, they start super early Mondays and Thursdays. And yeah, I left a bunch of stuff on the kitchen table at home, didn't make it to work. So I have to wait until tonight until I get home from work. So I won't be putting my stitches in until about 7.30 p.m. tonight, but I'm excited about it. I cannot wait to dig into this one, honestly. That's been hard for me to not, you know, show everything all at once because these colors are so good in this pack. All right, so that's it. I'm off back to work, and I'll check in with you again in a little bit. I finally have my sock. On a sock blocker. Check that out. Doesn't that look good? Oh yeah, so good. So there it is. Heel toe do si do. Sock number one. Crazy sock lady. Now it is officially. <laughs> Whoops. Just knocked my tripod. Officially done. Now that it's on a sock blocker, it makes it makes it official. So I haven't knit any more of sock number two yet, but I did do a little bit of my, let's see if I can turn this around and show you. Let's see, can you see that? You see? I don't wanna take it off my frame because I am on a roll. And if I finish this, I'm gonna start Santa's Patchwork Cloak uh, by uh, Pansy Patch um, stitching and quilting. And so this entire bottom is now done. Both of my trees are finished. Let's see if I can bring you in a little closer. Both trees are finished finished this tree earlier this morning with my coffee and uh, I've started the border on both sides. I've got a length of floss done in there and I finished the words to welcome. I'm not sure they're showing up all that well um, 
on the screen, but in, in person, they look great. So this is 32 count Billie Jean, linen, Roxy Flosco, the called for Roxy Flosco floss pack. And I'm stitching two strands of floss over too. So I have a stretch goal of finishing this in the next three to four days because I cannot wait to start Santa's patchwork cloak, but I really want to finish this first. So yeah, I'm really, I'm really happy with it. All right, back to work. Oh, I didn't tell you about my mug. This, can you see it? Let me get it to focus here. This is, um, I have a small group of women that I've been going to a retreat with a couple times a year for the last at least 15 years. And they are friends that I made through my local needle workshop, Thread and I, many, many, many years ago. And it was the retreat that was started by Thread and I. And then when they retired, when Kathy and Neil retired, uh, my friend Miss Patty and her daughter Carrie and our other friend Joanne took over uh, organizing this small retreat. And so we've continued to meet at the Elmhurst Inn, uh, which is in Ingersoll, Ontario, for the last number of years. And so this year, just this past um, little retreat that we went to at the end of October, uh, Joanne had a logo designed for our group. So we are now the Count Me In Stitchers. And so I bought a mug that has our, our logo on it. Isn't that great? I love it. Um, that peppermint bark coffee, Hannah brought that to work a couple of days ago and it is delicious. It is delicious. It's the, it's the kind of coffee that you can drink black and it's still just like having a treat. It's delicious. So smaller mugs I prefer when I drink black coffee. I don't know why. So, all right, back to work. So I'm just popping in to tell you two things about the shop just quickly. First one is there's a bit of a sale going on um, from for a few of our older flosses. It's kind of like a buy 10, get a percentage off, and then the level goes up from there. And the other thing is that the first five days of our countdown floss will be available for sale on the website as of today. Uh, at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So the first five days, they're gonna be available both as single colors as well as um, a pack of five. So 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time today, available on the website. I'll have links in the drop-down box below. And all the information on the floss sale um, is on the homepage of the website. So back to it. Well, it's later in the day and I'm just getting ready, just packing up, getting ready to go home. I wanted to uh, pop in quickly and first of all say thank you for all of the lovely comments about my daughter and our weekend together um, this past weekend. We went to the Elmhurst Inn in Ingersoll, which as you will have heard me just talk about, that's the place where I go on a small retreat with some stitching friends. It's also the place where Sarah and I like to go to have a girls weekend together. This was a gift. This was a graduation gift for me to her uh, to spend the weekend together. It's something we do rarely, but it's special. And then we, uh, we go to brunch at the restaurant that's at the Elmhurst on Sunday morning. Uh, my daughter, um, for those of you who have been with me here for a long time, you will have uh, known about Sarah for many, many years. Uh, Sarah graduated with a business degree this past year, and uh, she is fully adulting now. Um, she was... Uh, she was she's fortunate enough to have been offered a job with the company that she was interning with last summer um, 2022 so she was hired by that company this past uh, fall and she's been working with them she has a business degree and uh, she her her job is in management consulting so if you don't like me know what that is <laughs> Sarah explained it to me really well, um, you know, back in the day when she was working towards achieving this uh, this degree. 
basically the company that she works for is hired by another company to come in and take a look at their operations and sort of help them determine ways that they can improve efficiencies or um, other things, other sorts of things like that. And then uh, if they decide to hire the company that Sarah works for, they then go in and help them implement these changes. And so that's what she's doing now. So that's why I've, I know I've mentioned in the past that uh, she is now traveling quite a lot. Um, the first company that she was uh, doing some work with was down, they had several locations in the States and the first one there, she was in Houston for a while and then she was in Minnesota and uh, then she was in Georgia and uh, we never know where she's gonna be next. So um, her life has just, uh, she's, we were just celebrating this weekend uh, that she is, she's off on her own. She's, she's not flown the nest quite yet. She still does live with us, but she's, as you can imagine, she's not home very often. So that's what we were up to this weekend. So, have you thought Are of a joke yet? yet? I thought you were taking a picture. <laughs> so I asked John to come up with a joke for Floss Tube, and he came up with the most wildly inappropriate joke that there's no way I can possibly share on Floss Tube. Everybody's gonna want to hear it. <laughs> you don't want to hear it. It's gross, and I'm still waiting for my joke. So we'll see what he comes up with. Yeah, I used to tell Sarah jokes like via text and then she would just Google the answer. Well, that's cheating. I know, it was totally cheating. Okay, so tell me your joke. Mm -mm. Are we on camera now? I am. You're not. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> I found you a joke. All right. Why can't your hand be 12 inches long? <laughs> Why can't your hand be 12 inches long? Because then it would be a foot. There you go. Trust me, that one was way better than the other one. <laughs> <laughs> the other one was a lot better. You really missed it. A lot. And today's stitching is done. This was tricky business. So just, um, just a few tips and tricks to help you with today's stitching. Um, I've kept it on my frame here and I'm under my stitching light, which is very, very bright. So of course it's washing all of the colors out, but um, I just wanted to make sure that you were able to see. So my first piece of advice is if you're tired, don't attempt these parts here. This, this addition was quite simple. Of course, those little motifs in there. And again, it's repeated over here. Very, very straightforward as long as you count those correctly. Um, but these require careful concentration and triple, quadruple counting and double checking to make sure that they're in the right place. So um, when I stitched, I started at the top motif and I double checked, um, I'll show you with my needle. I double checked that that stitch lined up where it was supposed to with the two. I checked that it lined up where it was supposed to over here with this motif here, and then I checked that it was correct with this location here. When I was stitching this, I made sure that this was accurate with this. So that set me up nicely to make sure that this ended up in the right place, made sure that was in the right place, accounted for that. When you're stitching these motifs that have to move, I just always remembered the number three. So these were three squares away, one, two, three, each time. So that was three stitches from there, from the corner. Three stitches to there, three stitches to there, three stitches to there. This distance apart here, double check that three times. <laughs> three stitches, three stitches, three stitches. Double check all of those. And then this one here, it was this corner to there. So double checking those. And then I checked that 
this motif down here lined up with this motif up here. So, and then I repeated the process on the other side. Of course, making sure that this motif was in the correct location in the middle of these two here, the correct distance out, and that it was the correct distance away from where it needed to be lined up from here. So hopefully you'll take your time and if you're tired, you won't attempt it <laughs> and you'll just enjoy it because it was very satisfying. I'm not gonna lie, it was very tricky I, and it took me much longer than I was expecting it to take but I'm thrilled with how it looks and I'm excited for what's to come tomorrow. So on that note, it's time for me to head to bed. It is the end of my day and it's just the beginning of yours for those of you who are in my time zone. I will see you tomorrow. Take care everybody. Happy stitching. <laughs>